Okay, in this video we'll show you how to use some sensor with the Arduino Nano. The sensor I will use is a digital DHT11 humidity and temperature sensor and at the same time I'm using a MQ2 gas sensor and displaying the results in a two-line LCD screen. This is the setup that we are using. The, all the components are mounted in a breadboard. It's this element here. This is the Arduino Nano which is a smaller form factor than the Arduino Uno, but it has the same functions. This is the MQ2 gas sensor. This is the digital DHT11 humidity and temperature sensor. This is the LCD screen with uh, two lines of 16 characters. And this is a power bank that I use to power this board with a lithium-ion battery 18650 uh, Samsung. So, if we look at the computer, I can show you the code that I upload to this board in the Arduino INA interface. So I got most of these lines from the internet and I joined two different codes. One was for the MQ2 sensor, the other one for the humidity and temperature. And I um, compiled this new code to the, to the Arduino that reads both sensors and displays the results to the LCD screen. So this is the result. We see in the LCD screen, in the left part, we have tempera temperature 21 degrees and humidity 17%. On the other side, we have the results from the gas sensor. We have at the bottom R, which is resistance in kilo ohms, which is reading uh, from the analog, analog input pin. And then, using some conversion factors, it translates into concentration of CO in the air, now with 0 ppm. So, I have been struggling this for several days, so I want to upload this in a video, so if someone tries, we will not have this, the same problems as me. What we are doing with the MQ2 sensor is to power it at, with 5 volts. This is to warm up the, the sensitive part, which is a tin dioxide. This tin dioxide, when it's warm up, it behaves like a semiconductor. And in the presence of flammable gases like uh, CH4, CO, etc., it will combine with these gases, the, oxi the oxide layer will combine with these gases, increasing the conductivity of it. We can measure this uh, conductivity. This is what we do with this cable here that goes to the, one of the analog inputs to the Arduino. And by measuring the voltage of this, we can compute the resistance of this of this uh, sensitive cell and by adjust by using some curves that we adjust before we can know the concentration of some gases in the air but because this a voltage this measuring voltage we need that both these Arduino and this gas sensor are, ex are fitted exactly by the same voltage by the same 5 volts power line but what happens is that this is drawing a lot of current to 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 heat the filament to keep it warm. So if we put this power bank connected to a breadboard and then we draw current from different points, it can happen the, due to the ohm loses and the distance in the traces in this breadboard that the, the Arduino board and the sensor are getting sensibly different voltages. They will, they will create a very unreliable uh, reading of the resistance. So what I did is to power the breadboard in this point with the two cables that come directly from the power bank and then this goes to this sensor and I, as close as possible to the sensor I took these two cables out then go directly to the Arduino board because the Arduino board is using very few current, the difference in voltage by this distance of cable must be very uh, small. I'm powering the other parts of the board, like the LCD screen and the digital sensor, directly with some power lines that come from the, from the power bank. And by this I get a reliable reading. Now I will restart the board to show you how it works. So I press the restart button in Arduino. It tells us that it needs to warm up, but it's already hot because it has been running for a long time. And now it's calibrating. So the result is the, the base uh, resistance is 130 kilo ohms. And this is the actual reading in kilo ohms. 
So it will use this divided by the base resistance, which is affected by a factor of clean air, which is 9 point something, almost 10. And then by some conversion curves, it will tell us the concentration of CO in ppm. We see that now is zero because we just calibrated it now. So it considers that we are in clean air, so it's still clean air, it's zero ppm. But we will do a test. I will drink a bit of wine. And I will blow to the sensor. Because alcohol is a flammable gas, we see that we decrease a lot the resistance because the alcohol combines with the uh, oxygen of the tin dioxide. And this makes the reading of CO uh, several hundreds thousands of ppm. Equivalent of CO, because actually it's not CO, it's alcohol. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you try to build by yourself. See you soon. Bye.